Hello, and welcome to the Wordly Wise Summer Institute. The time you spend here will help you stay sharp over the summer and improve your vocabulary. Let's get started. Begin by clicking the program link that was sent to the email address given at registration. You will also receive your username and password in this email. If you can't locate the email, don't worry. You can always go to the Wordly Wise Summer Institute homepage and click the Student Sign-In button. Once you are on the login page for the program, a helpful tip is to bookmark the URL in the internet toolbar for your computer. Or you can create a desktop shortcut of the URL by dragging it to your computer's desktop. Once you've done that, you can enter your username and password and then click Login. Clicking the question mark at the top of the screen will provide you with help on how to get started. Hello, and welcome to WordlyWise 3000 Online. Let's have a look around. To view the certificates for lessons you have completed, click the ribbon at the top of the screen. You can only click this button on this page. For help with an activity, click the question mark. You can click this button to get help on any screen. To exit WordlyWise 3000 online, click the X. Click Enter to get started. No matter which level you are using, you will begin by completing a multiple choice pretest. This will help you figure out what you already know about the words in the lesson and see which words you need to study the most. Then you will move on to the word list, which introduces the lesson words, their definitions, and sample sentences that use each word in a sentence. In levels 2 and 3, you will see pictures of some words along with their definitions. To hear part of a lesson read aloud, roll over that section and click the audio icon. Claw. After studying each word, click flip card to answer a question about it. If you answer the question incorrectly, feedback will pop up to help you choose the correct answer. Incorrect. A claw is the curved nail on the toe of an animal. Snakes don't have toes, so they can't have claws. You must always go back and fill in the correct answer before moving on. This helps you remember the correct answer. Correct. A claw is the curved nail on the toe of an animal. Snakes don't have toes, so they can't have claws. You will get help finding the right answer on all the activities except the tests. After the word list, you will do three or four activities. You can do them in any order, but you must do all of them before moving on to the passage and finishing the lesson. In words and their meanings, you will match vocabulary words to their meanings. Correct. To flap is to move up and down. As you match each word and meaning correctly, a part of a puzzle fills in. When it's all filled in, the puzzle will show a picture of one of the lesson words. During any exercise, you can pull down the word list at the top of the screen to get the word's meaning. Groom. Noun. 1. A person who takes care of horses. In seeing connections, you will click to circle the word that does not belong. A side box gives you tips for doing this exercise. In applying meanings, you will answer a set of multiple choice questions. Correct. Good job. As you answer each question correctly, a part of a puzzle fills in. When it's all filled in, the puzzle will show a picture of one of the lesson words. After you do all the exercises, you will read a passage that uses all the vocabulary words. Each word in the passage is highlighted as it is read aloud. Sandra Adams and Ken Hodkinson live at Sugarwood Farm in New Hampshire. They have a cat named Bailey. When you have finished the passage, click Done Reading. A question will appear where the picture was. Then you can choose the right vocabulary word from the drop-down menu to complete the sentence. Correct. Bailey wanted to check out Ken and Sandra's home. He hoped that they would share their home with him. 
In levels 4 through 8, you will start with the pretest and the word list. If you answer a question incorrectly in any activities except the pre and post tests, feedback guides you to the correct answer. You are always required to go back in and fill in the correct answer. This will help you remember the word's meaning. Correct. You hail a person to greet or welcome him or her. After the word list, you will complete a set of four exercises. You can do them in any order, but you must complete all four before moving on to the passage and finishing the lesson. In finding meanings, you will combine two sentence fragments to form a sentence that correctly uses a word from the word list. During any exercise, you can always pull down the word list at the top of the screen to use as a reference. Master. Adjective. One. Chief. Main. In just the right word, you will replace a bold-faced phrase in the sentence with one of the vocabulary words on the right. In applying meanings, you will answer a set of questions. Correct. Good job. As you answer each question correctly, a part of a puzzle fills in, illustrating one of the lesson words. In word study, you will answer questions that focus on a number of different word relationships. These include antonyms and synonyms, and word parts, such as Greek and Latin roots, prefixes, and suffixes. Activity types vary from lesson to lesson, and can include circling and fill-in-the-blank activities. A sidebox provides helpful information about the exercise. For example, this sidebox reminds you of the definition of synonyms. After completing all four exercises, you will read a passage that uses all the lesson words in context. Passage text is highlighted as the sentences are read aloud. Sequoia was a remarkable man in many ways. He was a skilled silversmith and painter. After reading the passage, you will type in the correct vocabulary word. If you get the answer wrong, Incorrect. Read. The program will guide you to the right answer. Incorrect. Check the word list one more time, then try again. Incorrect. The correct answer is sufficient. Try typing it in. Correct. White people kept taking over more and more of the land that belonged to the Cherokees. They felt that they did not have sufficient land for their needs. In levels 9 through 12, you will start with the pretest and the word list. If you answer a question incorrectly in any activities except the pre and post tests, feedback guides you to the correct answer. You are always required to go back and fill in the correct answer. This will help you remember the correct word's meaning. Incorrect. Correct. After the word list, you will complete a set of four exercises. You can complete the exercises in any order, but you must complete all four before moving on to the passage and finishing the lesson. In understanding meanings, you will decide whether the vocabulary word is used correctly or incorrectly in each sentence. If it is used incorrectly, you will type in a new sentence that uses the word correctly. Correct. Good job. Remember that you can always access the word list to use as a reference, except in the pre- and post-tests. The whale. Verb. To express deep regret or sorrow over. In using words, you must decide whether the vocabulary word makes sense in the sentences provided. You must also write your own sentence that uses the word correctly.
In images of words, you will answer a set of questions. Correct. Good job. As you answer each question correctly, a part of a puzzle fills in. When the activity has been completed, this puzzle will illustrate one of the lesson words. In word study, you will answer questions that focus on a number of different word relationships. These include antonyms and synonyms, analogies, and word parts, such as Greek and Latin roots, prefixes, and suffixes. Activity types vary from lesson to lesson and can include circling and fill-in-the-blank activities. A sidebox provides helpful information about the exercise. For example, this sidebox defines synonyms and antonyms. After completing all four exercises, you will read a nonfiction passage that uses all the lesson words in context. The words and passages are highlighted as the sentences are read aloud. Visitors to South Dakota find that a trip to Mount Rushmore is almost obligatory, for there they can see one of America's most awe-inspiring monuments. Car After reading the passage, you will type in the correct vocabulary word. If you get the answer wrong, Incorrect! Reread the passage or open the word list to check the spelling of your answer. The program will guide you to the correct answer. Incorrect! Check the word list one more time, then try again. Incorrect! The correct answer is Maxim. Try typing it in. Correct! There are those who believe that small is beautiful. That is a maxim with which Goetz and Borlum would not agree. At all levels, once the passage is complete, you will take a post-test that shows your progress since the pretest. It is just like the pretest. At the end of the post test, you can view your results to see what words and meanings you need more practice with. Master meanings activities are automatically assigned for any word meanings that you have not yet mastered. Once all your master meanings activities have been completed, Correct. Good job. You will receive a lesson certificate to print for your records. Clicking the next arrow will bring you back to the entry screen, where you can either view certificates for completed lessons or click enter to begin the next lesson. Your teacher will be emailing you weekly to share your progress and show how wordly wise you're becoming. Good luck!